Hey guys, Joe from One Up Reviews. We got another pickup literally just delivered, as you can tell by the Nike box. Uh, so, let's get it opened. First time for everything. There we go. There, if you can't tell by the box, it's the Air Max 270. Uh, we did do the 720, so I just want to I want to feel like I want to fill in the gaps between like the recent editions of Air Max from Nike's side. So this was like last year's Air Max. Uh, it came out in 2018 and I'll show you why it's called the 270. But let's look at the box and it has the old renditions of Air Max, even including Tien and Zoom Air. Yeah, it's really cool. And let's just go through the, the, the box specs. So it's a US 8.5, a, a UK 7.5, and, and a European 42. There it is, and it is, like I said, it's Air Max 270, black for blue, blue fury colorway. And let's get it open. Wow. That's really cool. So, really nice. So, Nice colourway, I think. I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, black and blue, not bruises. Just uh, the colourway reminds me of the Royal Jordans. That's my affinity to that colourway. And yeah, but first things first. As mentioned in the re last video about the MX 720, the 270 incorporates that massive uh, air unit at the heel tab, at the heel, similar, where it's just got one pillar that supports it and you can almost guarantee that it's gonna be very cushiony, like you've got that bounceability right here. Anyway, let's start with the outsole. So the outsole is a, it's a foam and you've got some waffle outsoles and it's, I can tell that it's a rubber paneling as well. So just good friction. Uh, as mentioned, it's uh, the foam dense, like this double foam density, so you've got that added comfort as well. Moving towards the midsole, as mentioned, you have that air unit. The reason why it's 270 is um, so you had the Air Max 180, where that was just a lack of one whole round, all round, forgive me, air unit and it was like proper visible 270 is just taking that to the next level and you can see it literally here whereas the 720 is the biggest one it's just that big unit that just takes the whole midsole this is the biggest air unit that nike have made to date uh obviously 720 wise as well but the 720 incorporates this heel tap as well Got the normal midsole there. Up is a mesh with a blue colorway underneath. Blue Nike swoosh. Got the Nike logo there. Blue pull tabs. The Air Max logo in the midsole as well, that's pretty dope. So it's a sock unit as well, so it's just a, not really anything like uh, separating the shoe, it's just one hole out of knitted mesh. It isn't flying it, which is a shame, it would be totally cool if it was, but it's Nike's normal like mesh unit. mesh. Mesh sock unit that I use, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I can tell that it's gonna be comfortable. When I try it on, I'll give you my like my opinions on it. I doubt it's gonna be as comfortable as the 720, which is a shame that we tried the 720 before this, because the 720 takes some inspiration from there. Can't wait to try it on. Let's uh, have a little comparison, shall we? In regards
regards to size, I, I'll tell you guys to get true to size, get whatever size that you are. I am a seven and a half. We've seen them comments about us having small feet, yeah? We are short people. That's the, uh, but that's another story. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's similar bounceability at the back to the 720. I'm not gonna lie, it's not that, it's not as comfortable, but it's sleek, I mean, it's not too tight. Uh, but you can, you can honestly feel that air unit. That is the main selling point. It is comfortable, not as comfortable as the 720, but you know. So here we go with the rest of the shoe. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Follow us at Instagram at 1UpReviews with a Z at the end. Till next time, peace.